Hi, I am Old Gold, and I would like to thank you for taking a few minutes to view my video. I am a seasoned miner, and have worked in the industry for many years, from Western Australia, to Papua New Guinea, Brazil, and more. My mission is to find mining companies, that represent good value, with a large upside to invest in. Then help bring them more into focus with my videos. Over the years I have made many contacts in the industry. Some are CEOs, and are happy to allow me to visit their sites, and publish videos of my visits. While others simply keep in touch, and send me videos from their day. I am heartened that so many companies, are happy to pull back the curtain, and allow retail investors, to come through the gates, and see exactly what they are doing with our money. Thanks again for your time, and I hope you enjoy my video. Hi. Trigon Metals is one of my favorite stocks, it is professionally managed, and has the sort of mix in projects I like. They have the Silver Hill project in Morocco, that I featured in my previous video on Trigon. Silver Hill is an exploration project with exceptionally large potential, giving the company a particularly good chance for a large jump in its market cap, while in this video, I visit their combat copper mine in Namibia. This is a large copper mine, that the company is going to bring back into production. Combat will supply cash to advance the company without constant capital raises, and diluting the register, the plant and equipment at Combat are in good order, and now that the company has acquired more land, the mine should have a long and profitable life. Here we can see a hole, now full of water, that was excavated in the 1980s, it extends down for around 180 meters, and is known as ore capping. That is a hole excavated into a high grade area of the mine. The combat mine has three large headgears, all are in good working order. Two can bring around 500,000 tons to the surface in a year, while the third is larger and can bring over 700,000 tons up a year. That is approximately 1,700,000 tons annually, from the headgear alone. Additionally, there are two ramps that can be used to haul her to the surface if required. In order to restart mining, the shafts will need to be dewatered, and services will need to be re-established, electricity, ventilation, communications and road work. This would take around 6 months to complete. The site currently has around 20 employees. They are working in management roles, operational manager, mineral resource manager, engineering, as well as maintenance and geology. The geologists are busy resampling old drill core, from as far back as the 1960s, to be added to the updated geological model. As you can see, the plant has been kept in good condition. However, before the restart, it will need a little attention, some pipework needs replacing, as well as some of the electric motors, gearboxes, and some other minor repairs. I have a lot of experience in this area, and the plant is in good order with no major issues. The existing resource, divided by the current plant capacity, would give the project a 70-year lifespan. As the plant is well set up, it would not cost much to greatly increase its throughput.
One thing that I was incredibly pleased to see, is just how much effort the company is putting into helping the surrounding community. For example, the mine needs to be dewatered, and this will be an ongoing process, as it is in all underground mines. The water will be used, among other things, to irrigate crops for the local community. They have already harvested a crop, that everyone shared in, and the excess was sold to a restaurant in a nearby game reserve. Their local partner is working on a whole redevelopment plan for the town, and they are hoping to develop a commercial greenhouse. Also, the Namibia Water Corporation has agreed to take the water to the surrounding communities through their existing infrastructure. The combat mine has a known reserve of around 700,000 tons of copper, at today's price, that is a cool $5.5 billion. On top of the copper, there are some 20 million ounces of silver. The demand for copper and silver is set to grow markedly, as the world embraces solar power and electric vehicles. The project has particularly good infrastructure in place. There is plenty of water available, an ample supply of electricity, a well-maintained road connection, and importantly, a rail connection. Having a rail connection in place, is extremely important, as I have seen projects held up for years, while sorting out who will be responsible for what portion of the rail connection. The added value in having the ability to get your product to the market, is huge.